My name is uh, Nico and I'm from Belgium. I started climbing only when I was 15 um, through climbing gyms. And um, at the time I was also playing music already. I started playing music um, actually earlier than climbing when I was 10 years old, playing guitar. When I started climbing, what I really liked is to actually bring my music instruments um, at the climbing place. I discovered that um, being in a beautiful environment where climbing brings you to actually uh, brings a lot of inspiration and um, so that's why I started doing it and um, that's why I still do it. <laughs> I think a lot of the time words cannot express things. We can only we have only as many words to express feelings and stuff. And listening to some music brings you so many more uh, aspects that is unexpressible in words, just like climbing. The fact that I bring music to the world not only I'm inspired from the climbing and the environment, but also the music helps me for the climbing because it always gives me perspective to what I'm doing, that I'm doing it not for the difficulty, really, not for the, the, the... because it's hard and it's serious, and, and but more uh, because I do it for fun. So a lot of time when I'm on a wall, I, I can we can get stressed and a bit anxious about what's next, especially when you are opening uh, something new. There are so many question marks which it's unsol unsolvable, but they are there. You see a big roof or a big something that looks quite difficult. It's weighing on you. You are multiple days on the wall and, and all this tension, it's very hard to, to let it out. And this is really the magical thing about music, like you get your instrument and actually this tension comes in the music as great inspiration. And, and it brings you to a total different place, even though you can be in the middle of nowhere on this wall, in a super exposed place, you'll be in a second just somewhere else in the music and it makes you realize how amazing it is to be there, how, how an amazing experience you have. The option to be doing what I do right now has never been a hard choice. I, I've always done what I really uh, wanted to do, what I was uh, passionate to, to do. So it has never been a question and I, I never actually uh, questioned myself. I just did it because I, the feeling I got from it was my the thing that I felt more needing, like a bit like a drug really, and um, that, would, that did fulfill me uh, and give balance to, to myself. My last expedition was in China. We chose to go to a very remote place where almost no expedition had been before. It's um, on the border with Kyrgyzstan and um, it was quite a new experience for me because um, well, the, the mountains were quite high, up to 6,000 meters, but also the conditions were uh, very cold. We found this uh, amazing pillar of more than 1,200 meters of elevation, and uh, we spent 13 days on this wall. And um, yeah, the climbing was amazing, but the experience was quite tough. Uh, we had lots of storms and temperature um, at the highest, minus 5 degrees but uh, really an amazing place and, and always when the experience is hard, it's, it's strong. So that's why we are going there, to get strong experience and to come back to life with a new perspective. Why do we do this expedition? It's, it's because we look for answers. It's because uh, this is what we need to do to process things in ourselves. That's what I believe. So it's a bit like somehow a therapy <laughs> because we are, I guess, a bit crazy. And this is the best way we, we found to, to process things and to evolve in life and to see the world differently.